Good evening and welcome to the regularly scheduled Brockton City Council meeting for November 13, 2023. A quorum being present, please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. Clerk. Item number one, acceptance of the minutes of the October 23, 2023 City Council meeting. Accepted and placed on file. Welcome. Hearings. We have the petition of Lensum LLC of 3 Abrams Way, Holbrook, for a garage license transfer located at 642 Crescent Street, Brockton, Mass. In City Clerk's Office, September 19, 2023. Hearing assigned for November 13, 2023. Fire Department has no objections. All paperwork is on file. The time having arrived, I declare this hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor? If so, please give your name and address to the clerk. Good morning, uh, or evening, Madam <laughs> Chairperson. Uh, Scott Ford, the attorney on behalf of the uh, owner um, and the operator at this business with me is Mr. Hashan Samsudin. He's the owner, property owner, and Mr. Mohammed Awida, the operator of the business. Good evening, gentlemen. Thank you for being here. Do you have a statement you'd like to give yeah, to the Yeah, very briefly, thank you, uh, Chairperson. Um, this is a, a site that was historically a Monroe muffler. Um, property changed hands right around the beginning of COVID. Um, there's no change of use being proposed. We're just changing the, the licensee for the motor vehicle garage license to the property owner and the motor vehicle repair license to the operator. The operator has been there. I don't know if anyone's had the chance to go to the business. It's a very clean business as far as automotive repair shops go, you know, um, and uh, we ask that the city council uh, vote favorably on the transfers. Okay. Councillor Thompson. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, good evening, Attorney Ford and uh, Mr. Shamdi, and uh, uh, thank you for uh, your business here in Brockton. I did have the opportunity to speak with Attorney Ford prior to this hearing. Uh, the uh, existing um, garage license uh, has no current conditions on it, um, but you know we, we always just want to make sure that you're familiar uh, with our ordinances and uh, what your responsibilities are as a uh, uh, motor vehicle repair uh, license holder, and I know uh, Attorney Ford has gone over uh, those documents with you. And so um, I, I appreciate your business. I have been by your shop. It's clean. It's orderly. I know you'll continue to uh, make it so. And so, uh, again, thank you for, uh, you know, operating your business here in Brockton. And um, if there are no, oh, no, we have to close out. So um, I, that's all I have. Thank you, Madam thank Chair. You. Is there anyone else who, here who wishes to speak in favor of this garage license transfer? If not, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Is there anyone here in opposition of this transfer? Okay, very good. I, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. The question comes on granting the license by a hand vote. All in favor? Anyone opposed? Thank you, it carries. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. So stay right there. We have one more. Okay. Item number three, we have the petition of Huda Awanda of 163 Evans Street, Weymouth, Mass, for a motor vehicle repair mechanical license at 642 Crescent Street, Brockton, Mass. In City Clerk's Office, September 19th, 2023. Hearing assigned for November 13th, 2023. Fire Department has no objections and all paperwork is on file. The time having arrived, I declare this hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor? If so, give your name and address to the clerk. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, Scott Ford with the property owners uh, and uh, operator present speaking in favor of the transfer. Thank you. Would you like to make a statement? Um, no, thank you, Madam Chair. I'll rest on my previous statement uh, concerning okay. business. Well, this property. is a, a motor vehicle repair, a mechanical repair license. Correct, yeah. Okay. So the garage license, this is the operator will be handling the repair business at the at the site. Okay. Um, Councilor Thompson, this uh, is in your word. Yes, uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Um, again, I just uh, reiterate uh, what I stated prior uh, for the uh, garage license transfer. Um, well aware of what our ordinances are, um, and uh, I have no objection uh, to the granting of this license. Thank you. Have you any additional stipulations? Uh, no, um, the, the current license has no current stipulations on it. I'm comfortable with the uh, ordinance as it exists, and so I'm not, uh, I, I'm not seeking to add any stipulations to this license. Okay, 
Okay, thank you. Is there anyone else who wishes to be heard? Councillor Reza. Thank you, um, Madam President. I just have a question. So, uh, who's Ms. Huda Awad? Is she the a new? Who does one of the other owners okay. of the tenant uh, business? So, is she part of Lensum LLC? No, Lensum LLC is the property owner. Okay. So, but she's with the gentlemen that are with you this evening? Correct, yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? All right. Is there anyone else here who wishes to speak in favor of this transfer? If not, I declare that portion closed. Is there anyone here who wishes to speak in opposition to this transfer? All right. If not, I declare that closed. Um, the question comes on granting this license transfer by a hand vote. All in favor? Is anyone opposed? Thank you. It carries. Congratulations. Thank you, Madam Chairperson. Thank you, members of the Council. Thank you. Yes, no problem. Mr. Clerk. Item number four, we have the petition of Afshin Realty, Javad Shaikh of 11 Remdel Street, number two, Waltham, Mass, for a garage license transfer located at 800 Crescent Street, Brockton, Mass. In City Clerk's Office, September 21, 2023. Hearing assigned for November 13th, 2023. Fire Department has no objections. All paperwork is on file. Good evening. Good evening. The time having arrived, I declare this hearing open. Um, is there anyone here in favor? If so, please give your name and address to the clerk. I'm the former owner. I don't know. Do I need to give my name? If Michael, you're here in favor. Michael C. Mather, Sr. Okay. Need my address? Okay. Yes, your address, At 45 please. 45 Belmont Court, Apartment 10, Brockton. Thank you, sir. 02301. Thank you. And, sir, you give your name? Yes, my name is Javed Sikh. I own the Obscene Realty. My address mm -hmm. is 11 Randall Street, Waltham, Massachusetts, 02453. Okay. Did you get that, Diane? Great. And how about the young man? Uh, my name is Chase Mather. I live at 45 Belmont Court in apartment 10. Thank you, Mr. Mather. Is there a statement that you'd like to make in support of this transfer of the, of the license? Well, I'm the former owner of 800 Crescent Street. We've owned it since 85, and Javed bought it about three, four years ago. <laughs> and in the middle of... Um, changing the licenses, COVID came about, it kind of got tied up in the paperwork, we either forgot or whatever, so now we're coming to clean everything up to make sure it's right that the city clerk has all the information and the uh, permits are, are, are up to date. Well, I'm certainly pleased to hear you're doing that. Thank you. Um, Councilor Thompson. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, good evening, uh, Mr. Sheik and uh, Mr. Mather. Uh, great to see you again. Um, I, I have no objection to the transfer of this uh, garage license. Uh, it's an orderly and clean operation over at 800 Crescent. I know uh, there is, uh, we, we did speak about the need uh, to come uh, back for a motor, motor vehicle repair license. I understand that you're in the process of putting that paperwork together um, and so that we can kind of close out all the licenses on this property. Uh, so um, I know we'll work together to accomplish that. But um, again, this is a... Uh, Great location. Um, we appreciate you operating your business here in Brockton, and um, I see. I, I request the council approve this transfer. Thank you, Madam Chair. Okay. Is there anyone else here in favor of this transfer? If not, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Is there anyone here in opposition of this transfer? Okay. I declare that portion of the hearing closed. The question comes on granting this license by a hand vote. All in favor? Anyone opposed? Thank you, it carries. Thank you, gentlemen, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Can stay there, though. Item five, we have the petition of Afshin Realty, Javad Sheik of 11 Remdel Street, number two, Waltham, Mass, for a flammable storage license transfer located at 800 Crescent Street, Brockton, Mass. In City Clerk's Office, September 21, 2023. Hearing assigned for November 13th, 2023. The Fire Department has no objections. All paperwork is on file. The time having arrived, I declare this hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor? If so, please state your name and address for the clerk. Well, I'm in favor. Michael C. Mather, Sr., 45 Belmont Court, Apartment 10, Brockton, 02301. Thank you, sir. In favor. And my name is uh, Javed Saik, uh, Obscene Realty, and um, 11 Randall Street, Waltham, Massachusetts. I'm in the field. Thank you, sir. 
My name is Chase Mather. I live at 45 Belmont Court, or at Brockton, Massachusetts. I am in favor. Thank you. Um, is there any additional statement you'd like to make, gentlemen? I just think it's the same as the statement before. It's, well, we're it's, trying to get the uh, paperwork all straightened out, which okay. got kind of confusing during the, the uh, COVID. Of course. And we want to make everything up to date. That's right. Thank you. You're welcome. Councilor Thompson. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Again, I just reiterate everything I said prior to uh, all the paperwork. The, the, this, uh, this location has been inspected by the fire department. They've signed off on, to, on it. I'm uh, satisfied uh, with uh, the license. So I, I seek the approval of this council on this uh, transfer. Okay. Thank you, Madam Chair. And I just wanted to ask, what is the, the flammable, um, uh, what are we storing that's flammable? Well, well it's a gas station, so they're uh, storing gasoline. And also in the, in the, the building next door, they're storing uh, oil. Okay, thank it's you. Oil and gas. Anyone else have questions? Is there anyone else here in favor of this? Okay, we'll declare that portion closed. Is there anyone here in opposition of this transfer? And we will declare that portion of the hearing closed. Now the question comes on granting this license by a hand vote. All in favor? Anyone opposed? Thank you. It carries. Congratulations. Thank you. Have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. Item number six. We have the petition of Richard and Larry McLaughlin of 36 Reservoir Street, Avon, Mass. for a flammable storage above ground license transfer located at 157 Clinton Street, Brockton, Mass. In City Clerk's Office, August 11th, 2023. Hearing assigned for November 13th, 2023. Fire Department has no objections. All paperwork is on file. The time having arrived, I declare this hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor? If so, please give your name and address for the clerk. Good evening, Madam President, Attorney Jake Creedon, 71 Legion Parkway, Brockton. With me is Mr. McLaughlin and Mr. Lynch. Um, the property was the former property of Scudder Oil. Presently, the tanks, the big tanks are in the above ground that we're looking for, uh, have been removed to put in brand new ones pending this uh, application. Um, there are three fuel oils there. One is known as household. The other one is diesel. And the third one is called, uh, again, off-road. And these gentlemen tell me that is something that is another form of heating oil for various buildings. Um, that's been in business, Scudder, and then for over 50 years. Uh, again, new tanks, if this is approved, uh, will be installed all up to code, obviously, and new safety regulations with it. Uh, that's basically all I can say. Permissions have been granted by both Davis, uh, Scudder, and uh, Mr. Lynch uh, for Mr. McLaughlin. Okay. Anyone have any questions? Comments? Is anyone else here in favor of this transfer? If so, come forward. No one else is here, literally. <laughs> declare that portion closed. Is anyone here in opposition? No, we'll declare that portion closed. This property on Clinton Street is located in Ward 4, which, of course, is my ward. And I understand at one time Scudder had both properties, which are now subdivided. Part is owned by Mr. Lynch, part by Mr. McLaughlin. And you will work together, gentlemen, I understand. And the, and the tanks will be on Mr. McLaughlin and his brother's property? Yes, correct. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, is there anyone else? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Question is on granting the license by a hand vote. All in favor? Anyone opposed? Thank you. It carries. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. And congratulations, everyone. I was going to yeah. say congratulations yeah. to all our, the, our incumbents. Apparently, you're doing everything right. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. <clears throat> Item number seven, we have the report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of October 30th, 2023. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the, from the mayor informing the city council that Dr. Mary Brophy of Crescent Street, Brockton, Mass. is resigning as a member of the Board of Health, effective October 18th, 2023. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the director of the Council on Aging submitting, submitting a letter of resignation on behalf of Daniel and Irene Clegg, 
who reside at Bellevue Ave, Brockton. Mr. and Mrs. Clagg have been lifelong supporters of the Council on Aging and are seniors since our building was built in 2001. They have both been very instrumental in the su success of our center and strong advocates for our older adults. Unfortunately, attending monthly meetings has become too much for them and they are requesting at this time they be removed from the board so that others can fill their seats. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the DPW commissioner requesting that the city council authorize the acceptance and expenditure of a donation of $5,000 from Hawkeye Fence. This donation will allow for a fence to be installed around the marvelous Marvin Hagler statue. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the Director of Animal Control requesting payment for a fiscal year 23 invoice for New England Animal Medical Center dated March 12, 23 for $324.98 from the fiscal year 24 budget org code line item 029-20075, object code 538-800, veterinary services. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the mayor in accordance with the general laws of Massachusetts, chapter 44, section 53A, recommending that the city council authorize the appropriation and expenditure of the grant award in the amount of $17,196,926.76 from Plymouth County to unappropriated estimated receipts, American Rescue Plan, Plan Act, ARPA fund. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the mayor in accordance with the provisions and stipulations of section 53E and a half of chapter 44 of the Mass General Laws and the annual reauthorization of the Comcast Revolving Fund requesting that the City Council authorize an expenditure of approximately $800,000 to complete renovations and audiovisual improvements at the Brockton High School Auditorium, more commonly known as the Nelson Auditorium. The Mayor shall comply with reporting requirements for revolving funds of Mass General Law, Chapter 44, Section 53, E and a half, and with the reporting requirements of the contract with Comcast. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the DPW Commissioner requesting to accept and authorize the expenditure of a grant award a grant awarded to the City of Brockton in the amount of $80,000. This grant is pursuant to the Green Communities Act in support of the Massachusetts Solid Waste Master Plan to which MassDEP has awarded the City a Sustainable Material Recovery Program grant under the Recycling Dividends Program, RDP. The RDP program provides payments for municipalities that have implemented specific programs and policies proven to maximize reuse, recycling, and waste production and incentives to improve their recycling programs. The city is not required to provide any kind of matching funds. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the Director of Planning and Economic Development informing the City Council that 380 Quincy Street LLC, Mather, is selling the property it owns at 380 Quincy Street, Brockton, Mass, to Quincy Street LLC and seeks the City's approval to assign a tax increment exemption agreement to the new owners. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the Traffic Commissioner respectfully requesting the City Council approve the authorization to expend fiscal year 24 funds for the following invoices that were received after the close of fiscal year 23. From Traffic Commission Purchase of Services Engineering, $5,670. To CDM Smith, $5,670. From Traffic Commission Purchase of Services Public Safety, $2,059.64. To the City of Brockton Tax Collectors, $2,059.64. From Traffic Commission Goods and Services, Traffic Lines and Signs, $6,449.72. To K5 Corporation, $6,449.72. 
Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the mayor in accordance with the general laws of Massachusetts, Chapter 44, recommending that the City Council authorize the creation of the Economic, economic Development Revolving Fund, provided that no more than $500,000 may be expended during fiscal year 2024. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Unfinished business. We have the appointment of Van McCormick, McCormick of Brockton, Mass. to the Council on Aging as an alternate member for a three-year term ending October 2026. In City Council October 23, 2023. Read and referred to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The question is on confirmation by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Azak? Yes. Diagostino? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Minicello? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Tavares? Yes. Texera? Yes. Thompson? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The appointment is confirmed. We have the appointment of Gerald D. Kolsch of Brockton, Mass., to the Council on Aging as an alternate member for a three-year term ending October 2026. In City Council, October 23, 2023. Read and referred to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The question is on confirmation by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Azak? Yes. Giagostino? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Minicello? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Tavares? Yes. Texera? Yes. Thompson? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The appointment is confirmed. We have the appointment of Janet Trask of Brockton, Mass., to the Commission on Human Rights, Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion for a three-year term ending October 2026. In City Council, October 23, 2023. Read and referred to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. Excuse me. The question is on confirmation by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Azak? Yes. Giagostino? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Minicello? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Tavares? Yes. Texera? Yes. Thompson? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The appointment is confirmed. Ordered that the City Council hereby rescinds the tax increment exemption agreement tie between the City and CMK Development Partners <coughs> approved March 13, 2023 for the property at 137 Main Street. In City Council, October 23, 2023. Read and referred to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Azak? Yes. Degostino? Yes. Farlaworld? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Minicello? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Tavares? Yes. Texera? Yes. Thompson? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is adopted. <clears throat> Ordered that the following names sum B and the same is hereby transferred as the same was submitted by the mayor as follows. Appropriation of $288,205.86 from police fiscal year 23 full-time salaries, $288,205.86 to police fiscal year 24 personal services overtime, $288,205.86 retroactive payment. Excuse me, that was part of personal services overtime retroactive payment. For the purposes of funding the Brockton Police Patrolman's Association contract, this appropriation provides funding for one year, July 1st, 2022, through June 30, 2023, of a three-year contract. In City Council, October 23, 2023, read and referred to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable as amended. The question is on adoption as amended by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Azak? Yes. Giagostino? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Minicello? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Tavares? Yes. Texera? Yes. Thompson? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is adopted as amended. Item resolve. Whereas the updated property valuations for real property in the city have been certified and also published on the city's website. Now, therefore, be it resolved, the Board of Assessors and representatives from the vendor paid by the city to review and establish updated property values for fiscal year 2024 be invited to a meeting of the Finance Committee of the City Council in November to fully discuss the methodology and data elements applied to this annual process. In City Council, October 23, 2023, read and referred to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a hand vote. All in favor? Anyone opposed? Thank you. The resolve is adopted.
Item 38, resolved, be it resolved by the Brockton City Council to invite the Chief Financial Officer, Troy Claxton, to provide information and a detailed review of the City's and School Department's fiscal year 23 final expenditures and fiscal year 24 year-to-date expenditures. In City Council, October 10th, 2023, read and referred to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a hand vote. All in favor? Opposed? Thank you. The, res the resolve is adopted. Item 39, resolve, whereas for fiscal year 2024, beginning on July 1st, 2023, there are vacant but funded positions within the city government, including the school department, and whereas it is prudent to identify those positions which will not be filled for several months because of recruitment, background checks, required training programs, and other related factors, whereas the deficit caused by overspending of school appropriations for fiscal year 2023 creates a need to identify financial resources to address outstanding obligations. Be it resolved, the Chief Financial Officer attend a meeting of the City Council to discuss the potential transfer of funds currently allocated to vacant positions, <clears throat> such funds to be transferred to a school department, a school deficit reserve fund, or fund by similar title. In City Council, October 10th, 2023, read and referred to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a hand vote. All in favor? Opposed? The resolve is adopted. Item 40, resolved, be it resolved that Mary Waldron of the Downtown Brockton Business Association and Amanda Glennon, Chairwoman of the Brockton Holiday Celebration and Parade, or their designees be invited to come before the Finance Committee to discuss the Brockton Holiday Celebration and Parade to be held on Saturday, November 25th, 2023. In City Council, October 23, 2023, read and referred to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a hand vote. All in favor? Anyone opposed? Okay, the, the resolve is adopted. <clears throat> Item 41, ordinance. An ordinance creating a revolving fund pursuant to Mass General Law, Chapter 44, Section 53, E and a half. Be it ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton pursuant to the Massachusetts General Law, Chapter 44, Section 53, E and a half, that the following language be adopted as a general law. Chapter 44, the following, excuse me, the general language be adopted as a City of Brockton ordinance. The economic development revolving fund shall be created. Programs or activities for which the economic development revolving fund may be expended shall be consistent with purposes of, for economic development in the City of Brockton. Receipts of payments of, of transfers and payments of fees for the purpose of supporting economic development and planning projects in the City of Brockton shall be credited to the Economic Development Revolving Fund. Expenditures from the Economic Development Revolving Fund shall be made on the authority and direction of the Chief Financial Officer, provided that no more than $500,000 may be expended from the Economic Development Revolving Fund during fiscal year 2024. The Brockton Chief Financial Officer shall comply with the reporting requirements of Mass General Law, Chapter 44, Section 53, E and a half. Referred to ordinance. Orders. Ordered that the City Council authorizes the acceptance and expenditure of a donation in the amount of $5,000 from Hawkeye Fence to the Department of Public Works Highway Division. The donation will be used to build a fence around the marvel marvelous Marvin Hagler statue. Referred to finance. Ordered in accordance with the General Laws of Massachusetts, Chapter 44, recommending that the City Council approve the expenditure of $324.98 from Animal Control Purchase of Services, $324.98, Veterinary Services, Fiscal Year 24, to New England Animal Medical Center, $324.98. Madam President. Finance. Oh, Counselor. Madam President, I move suspension of the rules and that we act on this tonight to pay that bill for $324.98. Second. Okay. Motion's been made and properly seconded to act on this tonight. All in favor? Anyone opposed? It carries. Counselors? On a roll call. The question is on a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Azak? Yes. Diagostino? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Minicello? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Tavares? Yes. Texera? Yes. Thompson? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. <clears throat> Order is adopted. Item 44. Ordered that the City Council authorizes the acceptance and expenditure of the total grant funds in the amount of $17,196,926.76 from Plymouth County to unappropriated estimated, estimated receipts, American Rescue Plan Act, ARPA Fund. Referred to finance. 
Order that the City Council authorize the expenditure of $800,000 from the Comcast Revolving Fund for fiscal year 2024 in order to complete renovations and audiovisual improvements for, at the Brockton High School Aud Auditorium, more commonly known as the Nelson Auditorium. Referred to finance. Ordered that the City Council authorizes the acceptance and expenditures of the total grant funds in the amount of $80,000 from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Department of Envir Environmental Protection, Fiscal Year 23 Mass DEP, Fiscal Year 24 RDP Grant, to the Department of Public Works Refuse Division, Fiscal Year 24 Mass DEP, Fiscal Year 24 RDP Grant Fund. This grant will be used on outreach and education materials to address curbside recycling contamination issues. Purchase lease additional security cameras to monitor dumping on public property. Purchase segregated storage container for storing fire damaged rechargeable batteries re received from Brockton Fire Department at the Recycle Depot until they are approved for shipping facility. Repair or replace paint swap shed at Recycle Depot and purchase equipment for kitchen scrap comp composting for sale to interested residents at a subsidized rate. Referred to finance. Ordered, whereas on March 27, 2023, the City of Brockton has entered into a tax increment except, exception tie agreement with 380 Quincy Street LLC for property located at 380 Quincy, Quincy Street, and whereas paragraph D assignment of section six miscellaneous prohibits the assignment or transfer of the tie agreement without the written consent of the municipality, which approved it shall not be unreasonably withheld. And whereas 380 Quincy Street LLC has agreed to sell their interest in the subject property to Quincy Street LLC. And whereas 380 Quincy Street LLC has petitioned the City of Brockton to consent to the assignment of the tie agreement to Quincy Street LLC. Now therefore be it ordered by the City Council that the City of Brockton grants its consent to the assignment of the tie agreement to Quincy Street LLC. Referred to finance. Ordered in accordance with the general laws of Massachusetts chapter 44, recommending that City Council approve the expenditure of $14,179.36 from Traffic Commission Purchase of Services Engineering, $5,670, to CDM Smith, $5,670, from the Traffic Commission Purchase of Services Public Safety, $2,059.64, to the City of Brockton Tax Collectors, $2,059.64, from Traffic Commission Goods and Services Traffic Lines and Signs, $6,449.72 to K5 Corporation, $6,449.72. Referred to finance. Councillors, do we have any recognition at this time? I'm sorry, Zach. Thank you, Madam President. I would just like to um, remind everybody that we have an ordinance meeting scheduled for this Thursday, November 16th at 6.30 p.m. here in Council Chambers. Thank you. Thank you. Councillor Lally. Moment of uh, council's recognition, Madam President. Yeah. Thank you. I've got two moments, and I'm going to abuse the fact that you gave me one. Uh, I wanted to announce to uh, the folks at home and to you know the councilors on the committee that the committee on real estate will be meeting tomorrow uh, at 6 p.m. We have one item on the agenda. We'll be meeting in the committee room. Uh, number two is I've been informed that uh, one of the city council super fans is uh, celebrating a birthday, so I wanted to wish uh, Herb Peliquin a happy 50th birthday on behalf of uh, myself and I believe my colleagues. So happy birthday. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you. And you, uh, Councilor Thompson. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, <clears throat> for the information of uh, the city, uh, the City of Brockton Holiday Parade is only 12 days away. There's still time to sign up to march in the parade. Currently, the marketplace is full and no longer accepting registration. But we are still accepting nominations for the holiday march uh, for the uh, parade marshal. So please, um, if you know any deserving Brocktonian, uh, please uh, go to the Downtown Business Association website and you can sign up to march in into the parade uh, or for uh, parade marshal nominations. Thank you. Thank you. Councillor Farwell. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, on behalf of Matthew Stanton, who was chairperson of the Beautification Committee, uh, who he's unable to be here this evening, he asked me to remind the community that we are having a holiday contest for holiday decorations in an effort to bring the community together in a positive way. 
The Beautification Committee is sponsoring this contest. There are separate categories for both residences and businesses, and the hope is that we will brighten our city and bring people together. We also want to remind people that applications may be found at City Hall, the Brockton Public Library branches, several community Facebook pages, and I believe on the city's website. And on behalf of that entire committee, I hope our community will get together, uh, send in applications, and be part of the contest. Thank, Thank you. you. And finally, anyone else? Okay, finally, last Tuesday, our lo local general election was held here in Brockton, and two of my colleagues, Councilor Mendez and Councilor D'Agostino, chose not to run for re-election, and we appreciate all of their efforts, and we will miss them. In the meantime, all who did seek re-election succeeded. I want to congratulate you all and applaud your efforts um, as we carry forward for another two years. Thank you. And if there's not anything else, we are adjourned.